<laughs> What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with yet another junk journal video. Today I'm going live a, a lot earlier, about 12 hours, 13 hours earlier than I normally would have. But I just wanted to get started on another Christmas project. Of course, pretty much this whole month I've been doing nothing but Christmas projects. Um, Guess I'm just really in the mood. I've been doing Christmas projects for like the last two months. Today, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be starting a new patchwork junk journal cover. Maybe get a couple of them done. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Jen. I'm going to try and like ration out these jelly rolls. Um, <laughs> I'm going to ration them out. I'm going to make a couple of cover designs. I don't know how much I'm going to get done out of these until I, you know, open them up. However, last year I was able to get uh, a lot of junk journal covers made from the little bits of Christmas fabric that I did have. Um, so now um, I'm excited to get started with these. These are um, two and a half by 42 inch strips and um, I got these at Walmart. There's tw it's 20 pieces. Um, it's five designs and four of each. So that's good to know. Let's get these opened up. I got these at Walmart if anybody is interested in getting a design for yourself or anything like that. Um, that is where I got them. So I'm really excited to see exactly what kind of fabrics I got. I did decide to pick more of um, more of like a vintage looking design. I don't want like cartoony things. So this is a, a good um, good stack of fabric here for me. I think I might just do one of each fabric because I have two jelly rolls. So that's we'll see how many that gets me. I don't know. We'll see. So let me get one of these. Uh, oh, this is a big row. Okay. Okay. I thought it was like a little row. Yeah, definitely then just one of these per per design I'm going to cut up for this purpose. Of course, we'll do other projects with the rest of these. And I'm pretty much going to put all of these fabrics all in one pile. I'm not going to try and like keep them separated by like jelly roll or anything like that. They'll just I'll be in one big pile of fabric for me to use. Really excited. I've never had this much holiday fabric in my whole life, you guys. I'm really excited. So I'm grabbing one of each design here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them up. I'm going to see if I can make it work with the receipt method, the receipt paper method. It is, oh gosh, I thought it was like wide enough, but I might have to... I might have to cut pieces like this vertically so it could fit on the receipt paper because I thought the receipt paper was just big enough, but somehow, see this one, is this one a bigger size? No, okay, it's, it's just enough. It's just enough to cover this right here. So I'm excited. That's going to be good. So this is the perfect, uh, this is a, a good size uh, receipt paper roll. The receipt paper roll, if you need to know, is about two... Two inches, two and a quarter maybe, something like that. That's what I'm gonna work um, on as my base to sew everything onto. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm not any sort of expert. Um, <laughs> I'm not any sort of expert sewer or quilter. So um, that's what I use as my base. That's what I came to learn works for me. Okay, so I got one of each of that. I thought the strips were going to be a lot smaller, so kind of uh, relieved to see that they're quite large. So we might get a couple covers from this for sure. Put this away. This is going to be such fun with all these Christmas um, fabrics here. Definitely excited about that. One of each, we're almost done, and I can start cutting up. I'm going to cut them up about two inches, some two inches, some two and a half um, is really the size I like to work with because it does kind of get a little bit smaller with the seams on each side. So I've come to find that I really like that size too, or is it two and a quarter? 
No, I can't remember. Did I do two and a half or two and a quarter? It's one of those two. <laughs> okay, so now I got one of each print. And we are ready. I have, oh yeah, this is going to be a lot of journal covers. I'm going to try different methods. I'm going to try the strip fabric, the strip, the string method. And then once I get enough crumbs, we'll make a crumb quilt. We're going to be making a lot of stuff. I am so excited. Got my little ruler here to help me while I cut. Nothing has to be exactly straight or perfect or anything like that. But it does help. It does help. I can bring my fabric so much, but that's okay. Okay, so here we go. I just need to cut most of the strips at two inch. I really enjoy the size two inch. Let me see if I like two and a half. So I do like to have like kind of like a range of sizes. So let me see the two. Yeah, it's probably two and a half. Yeah, Pro more than likely it's two and a half. Let me lay down a couple of fabrics here so I can get this done somewhat fast. Let's see. I'm not like the fastest person. <laughs> and I don't want to cut myself, so that helps me go a little bit slower. Do not mind going a bit slower, especially with cutting and this sharp knife thingamajig here. Okay, now we are cutting both fabrics. So I cut one at two, um, and the next one I'll cut at two and a half. That is pretty much what I am going for here. Two and a half right here. It just makes for our fun variation sizes. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna get all these little bits here, and then we'll start sewing. I don't know how far we'll get today or how long we'll go live, but usually, you know, it's always a minimum of, of an hour. <laughs> we always have about an hour's worth of fun here. Hey, Patricia, good morning. Good morning, happy, or early afternoon. It's 11.15, not noon yet. So I can still technically say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> how are you today? How is Arizona today? <laughs> I got some fun fabrics here. I could probably cut more than two pieces at a time. Of course, I'm also not the most efficient crafter. <laughs> I'm just here to have fun, y'all. I sometimes I get criticism on my videos, and I'm just like, yo, like I'm just a person. I'm not like a professional. <laughs> like I'm just doing this for fun. So. Your critiques, while they're, you know, valid, and I, I, I understand why you feel that way, <laughs> like, I'm not no professional, so don't critique me like a professional, please. <laughs> okay, so here's, I got my first little scrappy-doos, so we'll keep those aside. My first little batch of scraps, and we'll work with those. Of course, this probably would have been a better project for when I have scraps, but you know what? I am impatient. I'll beat them up for you. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I don't mind critiques as long as it's not like on um, things I can't help. <laughs> like I'm just a little human being. So like sometimes I cough. <laughs> sometimes I clear my throat. <laughs> and there's really nothing I could do about that. And you're critique on that is valid, but also it's my human body. So like, what, what can I do? <laughs> There's other, I like, I go live. I, I, if I edit it, okay, perfect. I can, I can take those out, but like I go live and I'm just a human person. So I don't know what to tell you about that. Things I can, I can improve on. I appreciate those critiques. I cannot improve on being a human, I don't know. I can't be a little robot, sorry. <laughs> and I don't edit my videos. And like sometimes people tell me like, oh, you know the one thing that like, it's all, it's 50-50. Some people like that I laugh, some people, some people don't. <laughs> and take it or leave it, I, I, I laugh. So I don't know what to tell you. 
There's nothing I'm going to do about that. That's just me. Take it or leave it, you guys. Sorry. Okay, here we got more scrappy doos. Here's another scrappy do, and this is not exactly two inch, so that's another scrappy do. So let me cut these down here to be. Is it no? It's not enough for two inch. So let me make it two inch. Mm, let's make this one two and a half. Two and a half. Here. Okay. What am I doing, Liz? Right now I am cutting up fabric so that I can make um, one patchwork quilt. Patchwork cover, I should say. Because I'm not making a quilt. I don't quilt, y'all. So this is for a patchwork junk journal cover that I hope to achieve one day. <laughs> this is just part one. We'll get there. Hi, bye, LOL. Go take my kid for a bike ride. Okay, girl. Have fun building memories. Oh my God, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. I don't know who that is, I will call them back. <sighs> sorry about that. It might be the, the place that has my scanning cut, so I really have to call them back. So it said scam likely, but those numbers usually don't come from 702. Okay. Just folding everything so that I can cut two pieces here at one time. This is just part one. This is the start. This is a very boring part, but I want to go live. <laughs> this is the boring part of this process, but it has to be done. I cut my pieces to be two inch and then some pieces to be two and a half inch. This could be done with scraps, but of course I don't have scraps yet. So I'm just grabbing my strips and I'm cutting them down. So there's my two and a half. Hey Minxie, what's up girl? What is up, what is up? Nice to see you here. Just wanted to go live at a different time today. Not that I'm not going to go live tonight. I'm still going to go live tonight, of course. Is this two inch? Yeah, it is. So I want to show a lot of fabric here. So that's why I'm cutting them down so small, two, two and a half. This is supposed to be kind of almost a tiny patchwork. Not the smallest patchwork, but it is supposed to be a patchwork. Thank you so much, Jen. You are too kind, too kind. Okay, so I have some scraps. And this is about two inch, so that'll go in the keep file, keep file, keep pile. And then I have, this is, I can't use this. Gonna go in the trash. This I might be able to work with later. So let's see. I got two jelly rolls from Walmart. That's what I'm working with. I might go back and grab another packer. I don't know. Maybe this is enough fabric. <laughs> I thought the strips were gonna be like 12 inch long, but they're actually they're really long. They're like two feet long. I love it. Just a really chill morning here. It's actually, it was actually cold this morning. I had to put on my hoodie in addition to my long sleeve, but I think now it's going to be like 65. So I'll probably open the door after my life for my cat so he can look out the door because he loves looking outside. And right now is the, the time frame between about noon and four like 3 30 is when it's nice and warm here not too cold at least not cold enough to cold enough to um, fresh enough for me to leave the door open it's like 65 during the day that's my winter <laughs> my winter is usually like it's 40 degrees at night and then during the day it's 65 so it's really not even a bad choice to go with 65 degree winters is nice Letitia, hi Letitia. 
Hi, Crafty Mom. What's up? I know I'm up early today, right? <laughs> I am up early this morning. I figured I'd get a head start on this project. I got to cut up these fabrics and then start sewing. I'm pretty much almost done cutting. Let's see how many covers we get out of this. Might have to cut up some more. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? This piece can just be its little happy self. This needs to go in the scrap pile. You love this time of day? I know, right? It's it's really nice. Right now, I could probably take off my long sleeve shirt and be comfortable. I'm going to open the door for my cat soon. He's asleep right now, so until he wakes up. <laughs> until he wakes up, I'll wait to open the door. So two and a half. These go in the scrap. There we go. Am I cutting it perfectly? Probably not. <laughs> Am I worried about that? No. So it's all good. That's why I love patchwork, <laughs> patchwork type of projects because you don't have to be straight on anything. That's really the only type of quilting I like to do is when nothing has to be straight or perfect. That is the kind of project I enjoy. Which is why I like to don't journal, right? It's fun. Okay, so last two strips before we get started on making, on, on sewing these patch, patches <laughs> together. Okay, there we go. Gonna make it a start here. That'll go in the trash, that's too small to do anything with. Okay, so here's two. There. These are not my fabric scissors. These are just my regular scissors. <laughs> okay, and then two and a half. And then two. And then two and a half. Yeah, this is going to be a nice, I don't know how many it's going to make, but let's see how many right now when I start sewing. I thought cutting was going to take me a while, but here we are, we're pretty much done. <laughs> that is too short, that is too short, so this is going to my little scrap pile now I got started. How exciting, going to start the scrap pile. <laughs> That's perfect, two inches, okay. So let's get started on sewing. Let me pull my camera back out a little bit so I can point it up like that. Um, let me get a little lower so y'all can see what I'm doing. But I'm basically going to be sewing on receipt paper. That is my choice of foundation paper here. And um, I'm just going to try and not put two fabrics next to each other that other thing. That's the only rule I'm really following. And I'm going to cut the receipt paper. I should have already done this. I'm cutting the receipt paper to be the same size as my cutting board. And then I'll make a, like that so that way it's straight. Because it's almost like ribbon. So you got to straighten it up a little bit so it doesn't curl because it really wants to curl. So the first fabric we lay face front like this and I am going to straight stitch and I'm just going to use default settings. So it will um, be a very short stitch. And it doesn't really matter um, how, um, it doesn't matter um, how much seam allowance you give it or anything like that. I'm not really worried about that right now. Let's see. The next piece that we're going to do is we're going to put the fabrics right sides together. So that's this right sides together. And that'll work. So then you fold it over. And I do kind of try and stretch it a little bit so that way it gets its 
it's not like this. You don't want this happening. So I do kind of pull it a little bit. And let's get going on the next one here. <laughs> Patricia, you're good. I went through the list and I just make sure I made sure nobody was like actually blocked. <laughs> I didn't want to come back today and have people be blocked. So I check we're all good. <laughs> Stuff happens. Weird stuff happens when you fall asleep, right? <laughs> I'm not blocked, Patricia. <laughs> I made sure we're all good. We're all good. So now let me pick. Again, this is two jelly rolls, two uh, sets of jelly rolls. They all have, they have different designs, completely different designs. However, you know, it's all in the Christmas pattern, so they, they're pretty interchangeable. They are pretty interchangeable. Again, I'm going to pull it. And then I'm going to pick another fabric here. And then let's pick something with some green in it. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it needs some green. There's no need to be as picky as this. <laughs> Oop, my thread came off. Right here. I have, I have, I bought everything that I needed to do this. I was missing some like clips or more pins last time I did this project. So this time I have more pins and I have those, um, those clips that they use for sewing when you need to keep stuff together. So hopefully this might go a little bit more smoother than it did last time. Oh, and you know what I did to make sure that these pieces were straight? I forgot. Okay, I didn't show this last time. But in order to kind of make sure that you're sewing everything straight, it doesn't really matter. But sometimes you might pull something the wrong way when you're sewing. It might be a little bit crooked. So, and also if your pieces are not completely straight like mine, what you could do is you use your um, cutting board here. And you can align yourself here like, okay, so here's going to be my straight line right here down this side of this fabric on this line. And what I can do is just make sure that stays straight. And then I can assure myself that it's going to be straight now because I aligned it right here. Now, sometimes the strips and pieces of fabric that you use are not straight. So that would be a tip for that. I did not, uh, I don't think I mentioned that live. I, I I discovered that all on my own afterwards. <laughs> afterwards. But these pieces I cut pretty much straight. I use my little uh, ruler, so it should be good. And I'm actually using my good thread. Um, that thread that I got from the, the packs that I like to buy is good. However, I feel like this is a little bit more stronger for, um, for this purpose. Gosh darn it, did I just drag all my scraps into my pile here? Gosh darn it. This is not two inches. Hang on, I grabbed all my little pieces. <sighs> okay. Okay, so let's see what other fabric I can put here. Again, I'm not really going for any like repetitiveness or anything like that. I'm just, or any sort of pattern. I'm just trying to put two different fabrics next to each other. Hey, Eva. Nice to meet you. I don't think I've seen your name pop up. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, let's look at this one now. I don't think I've done this fabric. I know some people can't join me at night. <laughs> so it's nice to see some new people that, you know, are here today during the day. <laughs> Not usually at night. Like I tend to do, <laughs> like I tend to do a lot. Okay, now we can go back and do the first fabric that we did. There we go, 
we've got this nice strip going here of all these different little fabrics. I love it. And of course, we'll go back and trim it up later. And sometimes your paper, sometimes the paper itself is like shaped weird. It's not always perfect. Sometimes there's like little indents and stuff. It happens. But that's okay. It doesn't really affect the final product, which is great. Okay, got to put another piece of fabric here. Again, uh, right sides together. Just like that. Pull it. Oh, I think I put that one upside down. <laughs> I think that one was upside down, y'all. Know? <laughs> How big is this one? This one's like three inches. Hang on, let me cut this one down. This one's like way too big. Two and a half. That's what I want. I hit my head. Sorry. <laughs> I hit my head on the camera. Huh? Here. I'm not new. I just changed my name. I'm usually a lurker. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome anyways to today's life. <laughs> Let's see. I could use, actually, I could use a smaller piece here. So I might use this one because it's going to get cut off anyways. So I think this will work. Okay, so this is our first strip. How exciting. So we did was string along a bunch of pieces of fabric. And now the next one will be, you know, different pattern and we'll be able to sew all these lines together. I pretty much make it the size of my um, cutting board here. I'm just going to keep on going. Let's go with the next line. And then I'll trim it up. Let's see. I'll trim it up later. That was kind of the boring part. So everything pretty much looks straight. Nothing looks too crazy crooked. Because I did initially cut up my scraps pretty straight. Sometimes it doesn't end up being so straight. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay. Okay. I like cutting on my strips the same size. I need to use... I use my um, cutting mat to kind of like just rip off the sizes that I need. <laughs> there we go. Should cut up a couple. Let me cut up a couple of these strips because 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 I should have done that before I went live, <laughs> but I didn't know how far ahead I was going to get here. Okay, one second. I just use the edge and I just fold it. Just, that's how I cut this. I just fold it, put it next to my mat, and I just kind of pull it and use the edge to rip it up. See, if you don't drag your nail across it, that's how they are. That's why you'll see me drag my nail across it, because it makes it straight. And that is helpful. Okay, so I got a couple strips. Okay, so, now I like it, but that's why... Pull my nail through it. It does help straighten it up so I can work with it. It's currently 7.33 here p.m. in the UK. So this is a good time then to go live to catch my UK audience. <laughs> good time, good time. I'm not... For me, it's 11.37. Oh, right, Patricia, your time never changes, so you're still, you're still in the future. <laughs> Patricia's over here living in the future. One hour ahead of me, she knows what's going to happen. Okay, so start it off, I'm going to put right side of the fabric up, and then sew one side. Okay. What you could do is you could have multiple strips going at the same time. I'll show you right now. I've seen people do this. I don't know about doing it myself, but I've seen people just like, um, I'll show you right now. They'll take, they'll work on two strips at once basically. 
So here's this one. We'll sew together. And then what they'll do is they'll have another strip right here that they'll get started up. So like that, so they'll start working on two strips at once, which I think is kind of crazy, but I guess it works for them. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, so that was just to show you. <laughs> you could have two strips going on at once if you really, if you were really in a, in a time crunch, <laughs> you could do that. Again, just try not to. I just try not to start with the same paper as I did before, but it doesn't really matter because you could always skip, skip one line and go to the next one. This is also a good use, to, a good way to use up your receipt paper. What's up, Shelly B? What is up? I really enjoy sewing on receipt paper and it, it comes off really easily. Really easily. You just tug on it and it's off. So it's not hard to pull off at all. Especially, um, you have to use a short stitch though. Before I used a long stitch and it would like undo all of my work. <laughs> so I've learned to use a short stitch and it just basically perforates it. Quilter's cheap hack, apparently, it's a good way of saving thread. Yes. I'm not really concerned with that right now, but I see what they could mean. <laughs> I see what they could be referring to with this, that hack. Ooh, that one folded the fabric over a little bit. We're good, we're good. I got a similar sewing machine yesterday. The Brothers SQ9285. Wow, it's life changing. Where'd you buy it? Where did you get it? So far, I'm really liking um, Brothers brother sewing machine. No issues. Well, I have had some issues, but easily fixable. And um, it has really lasted me. Y'all know I use this machine a lot. <laughs> Y'all know it's hard for me to even go one episode here without using my sewing machine. <laughs> I love my sewing machine. I just finished some decoupage bases so I can make trim too. Yay, Shelly! Isn't decoupage fun? Oh my gosh, it's just so chill. Such a chill activity. The chillest. Let's see. With one of these, I haven't put one of these yet. You got it from Walmart? Okay, cool. Let's see, I've seen some pretty cool looking um, brother sewing machines there at the Walmart. I'm trying to pick a fabric I haven't put on here yet. But I think I've put all of them. I might have to repeat. Okay, let's repeat. I might be wrong, but I think I've put, I'm trying to figure out if I have put each design. One second. So to the next one almost. Let's do the one that we started with. I'll put one of these. Let me see if this is enough here. Okay, and 
you know, and I have like the slimmest pieces of scrap fabric here that might help me with this little gap I got right here. It's literally the world's smallest little tiny gap. And it'll probably get cut off, so I'm just doing this just for fun, I guess. We'll see. Time will tell. Okay. So there's that. So here's this row right here. So now we're building row by row. And if I see one piece like this right here, I'll have to move that obviously to be um, like skip one line because these two are in the middle. But other than that, I'm starting to like the look, right? I am starting to enjoy this. I have to um, make sure we keep going. And again, there's no right or wrong way if you would really, really like to... Um, go in a certain like pattern, repetitive pattern, go for it. I am kind of just picking different fabrics here and there. But it would be cool also to flat it out and um, flat out some repetitive pattern. Now I'm getting more. It's noon, so it's probably about 60 now. Probably. Let's put this one. Somehow it always ends up in the middle. Let's put it off to the side. Tonight, I'll probably make enough of these rows that I can sew some together. I don't know if that'll be a long enough video. <laughs> Oops, I, what am I thinking? I forgot that a fabric to this. <laughs> My bad. Let's add fabric here. Totally spaced out on that one. We'll start a new cover tomorrow. I don't know. Tonight. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. <laughs> it's always a mystery to me too. Let's put this one right here. It's just big enough for for this recipient. <laughs> we got more pieces out of it. This paper is just almost as wide as the strips. Okay, so now let's use this green here. Hopefully we use that. No, we have not. Thank you, Patricia. If you are enjoying the video, give me a little thumbs up. I appreciate it. Deer pattern right here. It's kind of like a bunch of headless deer or reindeer. I probably could plan that one out better. Turn <laughs> that outside over right here. See all these like just deer parts? There's no deer. <laughs> just deer parts. Um, let's see. I didn't want to put this one on, so let's put this one. My cat should be waking up by now. I don't know why he hasn't. Or maybe because I haven't opened the door. Um, let's see, which one else? I don't think I've used the black plaid. That's a lot of plaid though. That is quite a lot of plaid. Mixed in here.
Okay, whatever, I'll just use it. It's fine, it's fine, Daisy. <laughs> it's just a lot of blood in this jelly rolls. Okay. I was really disappointed. I thought Tuesday morning was gonna have fabric and jelly rolls and stuff like that. They literally had like, I don't know, maybe five jelly rolls and none of them were Christmas themed, so I was really bummed out. Did you, Minx? I'm sorry. It is. I just, uh, maybe I've been distracted. Maybe that's my problem. So I need to check on that. I apologize, girl. I got you. So let me use up my little scraps here because I, I think I'll end up cutting this off, but just to be sure. I mean, it'll end up being a scrap also, just to be sure. Okay. There we go. We've done this strip now. I like to see how they're going. So if anything, if I need to move any fabrics in the next, see, why do I always end up with this being right here? It's just, <laughs> okay, here we go. At least it's one here, one over here, and it's not next to each other. And uh, this, I'm trying to put them right sides because they are going in a certain direction. This deer one needs to be, I need to have some in the middle with the deer. Of course, I'm gonna have other um, strips. I need to make sure some deers are in the middle. Other than that, I think I'm doing pretty good with the distribution of the patterns. So that way it's not too repetitive. I don't want too many, you see this right here? I don't like that. So I'll have to make a couple pieces where the deer parts are in the middle. So that they can be a little bit more evenly distributed make some of these where they're at the end maybe in the beginning and at the end would be a good way to distribute that um I think everything else is pretty well distributed already I just got to keep my eye on because your, my eye goes directly to this dark fabric here so I really want to I don't want to see this you know what I mean I want to see one over here and then that one over here I don't want to see them together like that that bugs me other than that, everything else is pretty well distributed. I got to pay attention to these and put them at the end. So that's about the only kind of planning that I do do, right? That's, that's the only kind of like visual that I look for. Because <laughs> now that you pointed it out, yeah, see? See what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what bugs me. Okay, so. I said I was going to put some of these pieces in the beginning. So let's do that right now. Let's just put one in the beginning here. Oops, my thread came off. Hang on. Let me thread this back again. Okay, so let's get this here. Again, I'm using my good thread. This is my more expensive thread, I should say. <laughs> like actual sewing thread compared to the thread that I usually do for most of my projects, which doesn't necessarily need to hold. This I would like to hold, so that's why I use it. So I don't really know if it matters, but I did <laughs> use my better thread for it. Does it matter? I don't know, maybe. Beverly! Good morning or afternoon, depending on where you are. <laughs> Hello. So let me put this one here. I don't think I'll put this one a second. Just sewing fabric onto our seat paper, girl. That's all. That's all. Just doing a little patchwork, you know, having a little fun, doing a little patchwork here. <laughs> Just doing my little thing. Let's see. Let's put this one here. Pulling it a little bit. I gotta run the pull a little bit more. You know what sounds good? A grilled cheese. That sounds so good. <laughs> <clears throat> I should have ate something. Oh, dang, this one's upside down. I 
don't like that. That bugs me. So, I'm going to cut it off. I don't like that. It's upside down. So, I'm get my <clears throat> seam ripper. It's a junk journal and it doesn't really matter, but you know what? That kind of bugs me. So, I'm going to fix it because all the other ones are going to be perfect, and then this one's going to be crooked like now. Can have that we'll cut it off here. It's a very easy mistake to fix, which is great. I can just get into the stitches here. Just was not paying attention there, and it just happened. <laughs> but that's okay. We can we can fix it. We can do it. Okay, let's pull her off me. Let's try this again. Make sure we are good. Right sides together here. Right sides together. Put it in place. And let's start. And seam allowance here doesn't matter. Oops, why did my needle come off? I don't know. My thread just unthreaded. Why? I don't know. Or my needle just unthreaded. <laughs> Kate, hi Kate. Nice to see you. It's been a while. I remember seeing your name here and there. I remember. Okay. Needle is threaded yet again. Yeah, I'm going to be on tonight. I'm going to be on tonight. So I'm going to keep working on this after I get off here. I'm probably going to get off in 20 minutes because I'm hungry. <laughs> so, so one reason that will drag me off, off going live is if I'm hungry. I love your style, Daisy. It's been a long time. Subscriber and customer. Thank you so much, girl. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you also pulled. I do the. I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on the green reindeer fabric. Got to remember, it's got to be in the middle. I have some lines with it in the middle, so I can put it in between the ones that where it's on the sides. So this is. I guess. I guess this would be about the middle here. So let's put one of these, making sure. We pay attention to that. Ooh. Y'all, I might get up and make that grilled cheese sandwich right now. Just gotta put it in my little toaster. <laughs> There we go, that's about in the middle, I'd say. If it's not, that's fine too. Um, let's get another plaid here. Let me get the screen plaid. Okay, I remember, also I gotta sprinkle the plaids maybe a little bit better. Maybe plaid goes out or just accept the fact that there's a lot of plaid. So there'll be a lot of plaid in this patchwork. But what I mean by keep an eye on is like patchwork, uh, you know, the pattern, patchwork, pattern, patchwork, pattern. That's kind of what I'm keeping an eye on, though. There's more pot, there's more plaid than there is other designs. So, this I gotta put in the end, right? I said I was gonna put that in the end. So, I think I'm, this one could go right here. I haven't used it in this, in this line here. Let me get myself some juice. That might give me a little bit of energy. Okay, so here's and then and then um we gotta look for another plaid. So like I said, I can sprinkle them. This is a plaid right here. A snowflake plaid. Okay, 
Do you have a tomato soup with a grilled cheese? Nope. I didn't grow up with that. That was not not Mexican. <laughs> it's, not, it's not very Mexican, so I didn't I didn't grow up doing that. <laughs> and so now that's just that's just not a a custom I have. <laughs> it is not a custom that I have had. <laughs> Let's see here. Um I've heard of it. I've heard of other people doing it. <laughs> let me put, said I was going to put one of these in the end. So let me put that right here. Cause practically where I am going to cut it off and everything else is kind of like, does end up getting cut off maybe. So it's about to cut off for the end. So if I'm looking for it. And now we're going to go for another. Yeah, see, this is good planning with the plaids kind of in, in between. I don't always do that, so not every row is going to be like that. So I, I need a little scrappy goo here. Let's do this one. Most of this is going to get cut off anyway, so that's why I'm using up the little scraps. Okay, so now let's see these rows. Let's see how they're looking. See if this one kind of helps break up the green. Okay, so this is obviously not the order it's going to eventually go in, but I do kind of like to gauge how it's going. Okay, see, that's a lot better distributed than when they were all right here. That makes me feel a lot better. And this one will need another one. I'm going to make another row where the green one is in the middle, and that way I can put it right here, and that way... I can have another one in the middle here and then, you know what I mean? So I, I do pay attention to those, especially when they're such a bold, dark color like this. Like my eye goes directly to it. Like this is too much for me. So I'm going to try and break it up a little bit. Um, but otherwise, uh, this is too much right here, this green. So maybe I'll do something like this. Like I'll switch this line gonna have to work on it because now these <laughs> this green plaid right there is like ruining all my plans <laughs> it's really messing me up so now I gotta pay attention to that but that's just like me being really extra you really don't even have to plan it out like this but I do like to get you know a little extra with it and I think um how many rows does it take to complete one junk journal cover here for me and of course, I'm going to make at least two of these, I think. So it takes about six rows to finish off one cover. And of course, this is much bigger than what my actual cover is going to be. So it will get cut down. And I got to pay attention to this because this is like, I'm putting it in too many too many of the same places. So I'll have to keep an eye out on that because that's pretty bold too. So other than this, I'm going to have to put another one with the green in the middle. Gotta watch out for this. Maybe put the green on the ends. Yeah, the green more on the ends so I can put one here in the middle. The green on the ends and then um, another one of these with the middle. So green on the ends and then that in the middle. Okay, so that's one I have to work on. Okay, but even if you have two patterns that touch, who cares, right? It doesn't, it's not really like that big of a deal. Uh. <laughs> It, this is the type of thing that concerns me. Let me make myself a little sandwich, and I could probably keep going for a little bit longer. I need some sustenance, y'all. Hang on, give me like a minute. Talk amongst yourselves.
don't remember, if I don't forget it, then I'll have a very nice toasted cheese sandwich coming up. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going because we still have, a, as far as the patches that I have to work with, I have to finish these. And then we can, I don't know if we're going to have time to sew them all together right now, but we can try and do as much as we can. That's why I called this part work. <laughs> My hands are getting a little shaky and that means I need to eat. That's what I'm gonna do, y'all. <laughs> y'all, you're too nice, Letitia. <laughs> you are too nice. Let's see, let's do this right here. Oh, y'all are kind. Y'all are y'all are too much. I appreciate y'all. Okay, so let's see if I I said I'm gonna put the green on the ends, so let's do that with this line here. I better not forget my sandwich piece. <laughs> I better not. Okay, so there's the start of the first one. Let me do a little bit more up here. Look good. Um, uh, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> let's do um. This snowflake, this red snowflake, we'll put it right here. Definitely, I know you can do this without foundation paper, but it makes it a lot easier to sew on when there is some sort of paper <laughs> helping you. It's nice. Let's see. I love that she laughed at herself. Oh, I have to because I'm just a big old, big old walking, fumbling person. <laughs> okay, let's see here. And now I'm hot, y'all. It's hot. Took off my, my um, sweater and I'm in my long sleeve and it's kind of still warm. Okay, then I'm gonna wait one more patch to put the green one. Just wait one more. Oh, y'all are too much. See if I'm talented enough to make this sandwich here. <laughs> Okay, one more, and then I'll do that in the middle. Green fabric, gotta pay attention to that. That's pretty much all the planning I really do. Here we go. Maybe the next one I'll do a little bit more planning. I don't know. There's another one with it in the middle. No, green in the middle. Love it. Trying to figure out when my sandwich is going to be done and not burnt. Good luck to me. <laughs> Good luck to me on that. I have like a little penny press. Best investment ever, y'all. <laughs> Get yourself a sandwich press. Ah! Wait, but don't move the camera when you sit back down. Sorry. Jesus, y'all. Jesus. One second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can't go wrong with cheese or bread. 
I got too excited for that sandwich show. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> My apologies. <clears throat> okay, let's put this black bag right here. Hi, Daisy, you just bust. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, the camera crew is fired. They are all fired. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I said I was going to do yet another green plaid at the end. I don't know, we'll see. Sewing all these lines together does take me a while too, though. We need a little scrappy do here at the end. Let's go with this one. Probably get like two covers done, probably. Maybe two and a half. Let's go with this dark plate. First fabric. I feel like I always go for these pieces maybe at the beginning. Maybe I should do it at the end. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Sorry if you don't like hearing people eat. <laughs> <clears throat> but I needed sustenance. If I really didn't want like the same fabrics to touch each other, I should have planned it out a little bit more. Maybe I will next time. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not going to do that too thing. Do I use vellum? I don't think I have. I have looked at vellum online though, but I never went through with it. <laughs> but I've seen some really cool projects with vellum, like um, making it into into like pockets. I like that idea. Do you? So, how many different patterns do you need to make it not too repetitive? Mm, I don't know. I don't really know. I'm using, how many patterns was this? Mm. Technically, I'm using 10 designs. So the more the merrier. Definitely the more patterns you have, the better it is. Right now I have 10. 10 different fabrics and Seems okay. Of course, shall we? Of course. Let's see. Did I unplug that thing? My coaster it just stays on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
I could have also sprinkled in a couple like red and green pieces of fabric. I think I have red and green at least. So maybe the next ones will have that. I don't know. I don't know. Chris, hey Chris, what's up? We're here getting crafty, getting our craft on. This right here. Oh, I never got my juice. Juice, y'all. So happy I got me these worm slippers. It's the best. And I keep touching the camera with my freaking chair. Sorry. So unprofessional, I know. I apologize. Letitia, you need my email? Okay. Is my email right there? Feel free, feel free. Okay, so let's go right here. Um, I'm gonna make you another one with this. No, um, do I? No, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I really don't want to do that. Got this plug right here. Are welcome. How cold do you have? Wait, what? Violet, is it cold? Do I have a cold? Please explain. I would like to answer. How cold is it? I think it's only like 65 right now. It's nice and I love this weather, 65, can't complain. Cannot complain about 65. We don't really have a, like, like an actual winter here where I live. <laughs> that sounds like, <clears throat> that sounds like a lovely day, Chris. Very refreshing day there. Um, which, which, oh, I haven't done the red snowflake, so that'll work. That'll work here. Okay, so here's another strip down. I'm just gonna keep sewing on these strips until I run out of fabric, and then we'll put them all together. Probably tonight. I'm gonna go live here for another 20 minutes. Jen, don't lie. It's not good to lie, Jen. <laughs> it's 64 degrees. That's pretty much the high for our summer. I mean, our winter. That's our <laughs> 65 during the day and about 40 at night. That is the Las Vegas winter time. <laughs> we in Stockton still have plus degree. Well, at least it's not cold. At least it's not too cold. Start 
start some with the green fabric. Would be good. And then once I finish this strip, I'll get all my strips out and take a look at them. I do sometimes um, organize them where the patterns would go better. Sometimes it's not bad at all. So there's the start there. Add some plaid. Snowflakes, cute. Sixty degrees outside in Colorado. That is nice. Mm. Wonderful weather. My cat loves it. It's time to leave the doors open so he gets to look out. He loves it. I think I'm going to make some strips with the brown in the middle. Might be necessary. What are you sewing the fabric onto? This is receipt paper. So I got a roll of receipt paper here. Mine is, <clears throat> mine is about 2.25 inches. There are different size receipt papers. I really want the taller ones. They have ones that are like three inches. But that's what I have. You can use whatever light paper, light thin paper you have. Um, I've also heard of people using, you just cut whatever strips out you want out of, out of whatever paper that you have. So I've heard some people um, use uh, notebook paper and they'll just cut it into strips, whatever size they want. Um, the trick is that you want to have your stitch be very short. So my my straight stitch here is very, very short. It's the default setting of 2.5 um, in length. And with the stitch being very short and your paper being thin, you're able to just um, rip off, rip it off like that. So that way you have all the fabric like that for when you're ready to sew them together. So if you have um, notebook paper, if you have tissue paper, if you can cut it up, um, you could also use phone book pages, very popular to use phone book pages for this type of project. So definitely if you don't have receipt paper, there is something you can use. You have something at home. Graph paper would work. Maybe are you drinking out of your Bucky's mug? No, I got to save that for the hot stuff. <laughs> you know what it, you know what happened? My ceramic Bucky's mug, a little piece of Bucky chipped off and I was devastated because I love my ceramic Bucky's mug. And so when you sent me the, the mug that you sent me, I've been kind of afraid. I don't want it to, I don't want it to, to, um, come off. So I need to buy some like nail polish, clear nail polish to put on top of it. Just cherish Bucky too much. Excuse me. Okay. I'm done with my sandwich. In case y'all wanted to know, in case y'all wanted an update, I am done with my sandwich. <laughs> this is my little cheese toasty. Um, okay, so I got the brown here in the middle. Don't believe I've used this fabric. I have not. So that's going to go on here. Yeah, this project is more for like scraps, but I don't have scraps. So I had to make my own scraps. And Whatever, it's fun. You know what? It's fun. <laughs> that one is upside down, but this is not upside down. And okay, so it's just a pattern then. I don't have to worry about this piece because this is clearly right side up. That's upside down, but okay. We can handle it. <laughs> we can deal with it. 
Um, I have not used the screen pad. So let me put it next, not right now, because I always put, I think I always put the green pad right there for some reason. Okay. Again, the seam allowance here that you pick doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's straight. Hey girl, I have I could have said a glass mug. Didn't notice your shit. It hasn't chipped. It's the it's the the Bucky's image. It like the the decal. Just a little chip on the decal. Not the actual ceramic mug. So it still works as a mug, but honestly, I'm kind of terrified to wash it because I don't want to scrub Bucky off. <laughs> That's the whole point. The whole point is that I keep Bucky alive. Okay, let's see, I got one more spot here. Um, okay, so finally here I can put that green plaid. No complaints for me though, no complaints for me. I just gotta go back to Texas. <laughs> my parents went to Texas, but I didn't wanna ask them because it, from where my brother lives, Bucky's is like 45 minutes away, so. It's not like it's close to where they were, so I didn't ask. <laughs> I'm sure they knew. They know I love Bucky. They all know. So here's another row. <laughs> I know I need to go to Texas. Hello, everyone. If I haven't said hi, I'm Letitia. Letitia is heavenly gifted today. I love this fabric. Is not new? Um, it's new to me. It is new to me. I got these jelly rolls at Walmart. So if you have a Walmart near you... Check them out. They might have these jelly rolls, which I believe they also have um, the same designs in the big, big pieces of fabric, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I think I did see some there with that. I might go back and pick up. I think they have maybe like four jelly roll designs they have. Zena, hi, Zena. So I will for sure um, probably go back and pick up another jelly roll. And I have a lot of fabric here, but I would like to have even more. <laughs> I would like even more choices. If not, I guess I'll live. It'll happen. It might or it might not. Let's see. Just gonna, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about planning it out. I'm just going to keep sewing. I don't even feel like worrying about it right now. I love the fabric. Have you thought about fabric? What are fabric? Oh, heart. I don't know what fabric hearts are. You mean fabric hearts? Dang, autocorrect, y'all. I know it's not you. I know it's not you guys. I know it's autocorrect. <laughs> Dang, autocorrect. But if you meant to say fabric cards, I don't know what that is. <laughs> fabric cards. I don't know. I have no choice. My favorite juice is apple juice, and I almost knocked it over. Apple juice, I love apple juice. Thumbs up for apple juice, y'all. Who loves apple juice? Give me a little thumbs up. <laughs> I'm really stretching. I'm really reaching there. <laughs> Give me a little thumbs up if you love apple juice. <laughs> I'm going to get thumbs down because people I like are going to like grape or something. <laughs> it has to be treetop apple juice. Don't give me no knockoff bread. I need treetop. <laughs> I'm not a snob for any brands, but tree top, tree top is the apple juice of America. <laughs> okay, I look forward to it. Let me know. Let me know. I might want to try it out. Let's get this black. Oh, you know what? I have not done one of these yet. So let me get this black plaid first, and then we'll worry about the green. I am dear. Okay. 
okay. And then, and then oh yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna put the green green down here. Ah! Hang on, y'all. My fabric, my thread snapped off. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I forgot to show the fabric off in my um, junk journal haul video. <laughs> Why or how? I really don't know because that was like one of the first things that I was excited to show off in my haul. And I completely spaced it. I completely spaced it. How will you use these? I'm going to sew them all together. These are going to be for a cover. So it's going to be a fabric cover. And... Um, that's how I plan on using them. We're gonna, we cut it all up and then we're gonna put it all back together. <laughs> cause we got a lot of time on my hands. Cause, cause we got a lot of time. So that's why we're doing it. <laughs> so I'll finish sewing all these, the rest of these together. I mean, I'll, I'll finish sewing the strips together. I will trim them. And then tonight, on tonight's video, we will sew them all together so they actually make a, a cover that you can um, visually see, not just these lines, not just these strips. <clears throat> and then eventually we will back them up. Did I run out of bobbin? Eventually we will back them up with heat and bond. And then we'll, and then we'll um, like I always do my sandwich with the, with, Heat and bond, uh, parchment, and, and um, packing paper. They sell packing paper at the dollar store, y'all, and at the, at the uh, 99 cent store, the brand 99 cent store. They sell packing paper. It's a pretty good deal, too. It's not like five sheets. It's a pretty good amount of packing paper. So I was actually kind of excited to see that. Uh, beautiful idea, Daisy. Wow, a lot of bombs. Yeah, these are actually, I keep these apart from my other ones. Cause these are the, the white thread that is like sewing thread, not just like the other regular thread that I have. This is like for when I make my cover pieces, I actually want the thread to stay together for a while. So I'm starting to use my fancy thread, what I call fancy thread, <laughs> my Walmart thread. But any thread will work, of course. And that's not even my only bobbin stash. I have another regular bobbin stash. I do, I, when I first started um, sewing, when I first got my sewing machine, I did buy a lot of bobbins. Like every time I went to Walmart, I would buy myself a, a box of bobbins. <laughs> just, to, uh, just to have them. Because I really like um, having a lot of bobbins. Because, you know, when I go live especially, it's kind of, it would be kind of annoying for me to have to make bobbins, you know, over and over again. So that's pretty much why I have a lot of bobbins. And then I can have a, like a bobbin or two of every single color that I have in my stash. And then it make it kind of cuts down on the work for me. So that's why I have a lot of bobbins. And that's the story of why I have a lot of bobbins. <laughs> okay, so that goes there. And then... And then, where's that red snowflake? I already put one of those. Okay, so I haven't put this one. I think I always put this one towards this side. Maybe I'll make one with this in the middle, if I can remember. But again, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'm really not. If you have a plan, color of the threads. I'm trying to understand. Do you have to plan color of the threads? Um, well, for this, uh, you can use any color thread, but I like to use white because sometimes you can see it peeking here, just sometimes. Not very much, but I do like to use the white thread for that. Um, Try to figure out what to do next here. 
Oh, you know what I have? I haven't done this one. This one has not been done. Yeah, these will all be, I'll be sewing these all together tonight. I'll have to prep them all, I'll have to finish sewing them all. Then I have to trim them all. And then tonight we can sew them all together. And they can be fabulous. This piece will go right here. Okay, I think white is going to be, I'm also going to sew in between these. And I think white is the only color that's really going to stand out. So here's this row. Now I have a nice pile of rows here. I might even get three junk journal covers out of this. Seems like that's possible. Okay. So I'm gonna finish up this next strip and then that is it for me today for this day time live. I will have to, um, like I said, prepare, get the get this the rest of this sewn up for tonight. Trimmed up. And then we'll have more fun on tonight's live, which I'll be going live. Oh dang, that one's upside down. Um can I work with this like this? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Let me undo that one because. Well, actually, let me start another strip because I just don't feel like I'm doing it right now. I just don't feel like it. So we'll just start another strip. <laughs> that happens. It happens. Okay, so I'll start it off with the brown one. Make sure it's properly placed. And we'll put Green Ranger next to that one. So tonight's video, you'll see this all coming together. It's actual fabric pieces that can be used for covers. Of course, my thread came out. Come on now. Work with me here. Work with me. So of course, I'm going to make different kinds of I'm going to make different kinds of covers. But just one design. The string quilt is pretty much this too. It's just like longer strips of fabric we're gonna work with. So I am glad that I got the, um, the jelly rolls. Again, I got these jelly rolls from Walmart. So if you're interested, go check out your local Walmart. They might have it for you. That's where I got it. I might go scoop up another one or two. Because I believe they had like four of them. Yeah, I cut the squares myself. They came in a long strip. Um, I cut these. Some of them are two and then some of them are two and a half. It's just about the size that I felt worked for me and my project. That way I get a nice variety of fabrics in a line, you know? And there goes my thread again. I love it. I just love it. When it comes with thread, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best. One second, y'all. Oh my god. Work. I need this to work. <laughs> there we go. And sweeting the jelly rolls are expensive. They're really not the cheapest here. This jelly roll cost me six dollars. It was only how many pieces was it? Twenty pieces? Twenty strips. So it's definitely not the cheapest. Definitely not the cheapest way to go, but I can't find Christmas fabric anywhere for cheap. 
I just cannot. It's just like a specialty thing and it's just, they really love to up the price on Christmas stuff. I'm telling you. Why does my machine keep coming unthreaded? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see here. I, I, can't, I don't know if they, do they make Christmas bed sheets? Because they did not have any of those at the thrift store. None of them. Not one Christmas bed sheet. They had like Christmas fabrics, but they didn't have Christmas bed sheets. I don't even know if that's a thing. Probably not. That's why they didn't have them. I'm not so much for sewing, but I love to buy fabrics just to look at them. That's an expensive collection. <laughs> it's an expensive thing to collect. But hey, to each their own. I like to have cheap fabric, so that's why I buy um, bed sheets. I can have a bunch of different fabrics. And it's not going to cost me because again, I'm not like any expert sewer, so I make mistakes, <laughs> and this way I can afford to make mistakes. Violet, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> but hey, whatever makes you happy, girl. As long as you're not, as long as you don't end up on hoarders. <laughs> as long as you don't end up on hoarders, you're good. Oh my God, you, got, do you, do you, you guys don't even get Hoarders over there. You need to watch Hoarders, uh, Violet, if you don't know about that show. They haven't done a Hoarders in the UK yet. <laughs> Although I've seen some shows like it online. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out, I haven't used this one, so let's use this one. Finish off this strip here. Quarters is a funny show. It's a great show. <laughs> it's a great show. I love it. Makes me feel better about myself. Okay, so here's the last little bit we need to sew. <clears throat> okay. So like I said, what I'm going to do is I am going to finish sewing all these squares here, all these little patches onto more receipt paper. I think I might get maybe even two, maybe even, so maybe even three, maybe even four actual covers out of this. This one has it in the middle. Hang on. This one too. This one too. Okay, so here we go. This would be good. I'm trying to just look at it and make sure I like what I'm seeing here. It's a good distribution of the fabrics. This one could be here. That those two are together, so maybe I use a different strip there. But I have enough strips now to at least have a choice. <laughs> so this one can be switched with this one. That's a lot better, just a little bit better distributed. Again, you can um, plan this out ahead of time. It's very obvious. Oh my God, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get my, there we go. I'm trying to get my desk here in shot, of course. So this is about roughly what it's going to look like. Um, this one's better right here. So you can already see the cover coming to life. I think I said it takes me about six strips to make one cover because it does kind of shrink down a little bit. But here you can see pretty much the cover coming to life. So tonight you can see me sewing all this together. So let's see. What's everybody saying? <laughs> Who's hurting you or your mom? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're blessed to have overflow for sure. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you guys. So thank you guys so much for joining me um, on this daytime live here that I just felt like doing. And um, hopefully y'all can join me tonight at um, 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 a.m. Central Standard Time. And if you're awake for it, 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come back and join me tonight. I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing these up. And then I'm going to trim. So I'm going to make sure that it's just the receipt paper showing here. Shouldn't be too hard since everything is pretty much the size that it needed to be. But um, yeah, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and chatting with me. And um, I'll see y'all tonight. Okay. Okay. Bye.